Twelve members of Congress have now have the tough task of coming up with formal proposals to dramatically cut the federal deficit. Lisa Sylvester takes a closer look at the so-called super committee and how special interest groups could influence their decisions. The Congressional Super Committee of 12 has been tasked with slicing one and a half trillion dollars from the deficit. Aside from feeling the pressure from their home state constituents, they are also under pressure from special interest groups. AT&T and other wireless carriers, for example, want the federal government to auction off valuable radio spectrum, arguing it would be a great revenue generator for the federal government. But it would also be hugely profitable to the communications companies desperate for more airwaves for the next generation of portable devices. Three of the 12 members have received generous campaign contributions from AT&T over the years. More than 77,000 to Representative James Clyburn, more than 99,000 to Representative Fred Upton, and more than 53,000 to Representative Jeb Henserling. Bill Ellison is with the public watchdog group, the Sunlight Foundation. When you kind of look around, there's a lot of different players uh, that have contributed to these members of Congress that have a real stake in the outcome of these negotiations. The anti-tax group Club for Growth is the number one campaign contributor to two members of the Super Committee. Senator Pat Toomey, who used to head the organization, has received more than $850,000. Club for Growth has given um, Senator John Kyle more than $155,000. Wall Street has contributed more than any other industry to the campaigns of the 12 congressional members. Multinational corporations like Boeing, Microsoft and Ford Motor Company have also figured prominently. AT&T, General Electric, major multinational corporations have a lot at stake in this decision because if there are tax breaks that are pulled back, or if there are uh, tax increases, that could mean uh, a big dent in potential profits. Whirlpool receives a reported $300 million in tax credits from the federal government for increasing production of high-efficiency appliances. The credit, which is set to expire in December, accounts for about a third of Whirlpool's earnings this year. Whirlpool was co-founded by Representative Fred Upton's grandfather, also one of the 12 on the Super Committee. Democratic Representative Chris Van Hollen's top two campaign contributors are high-powered D.C. legal and lobbying firms, Aaron Fox and Arnold and Porter. Are they beholden to these special interests? I think what's clear, though, is that all of these donors have a certain level of access to the members of Congress, especially the big donors. Uh, members know who their biggest donors are. Well, to avoid the triggers, the Super Committee must come up with its deficit-cutting proposals before Thanksgiving, and then Congress must vote on the formal proposals before Christmas Eve. Lena.